Hey y'all, it's cooking in your hood. What's going on? Today we are going to be making turkey chops. We're also going to be making fried green beans, okay? So, um, this channel is all about cooking with a twist. A little something different that you wouldn't normally cook your family every day. Um, so with that being said, my green beans are going to be cooked with, uh, they're going to be fried and they're going to be fried with onions. So that's what's going to be the twist of this little meal today. Um, you can follow me on Facebook at, uh, Cooking, at, uh, Cooking in Your Hood, alright? You can find me there. I am known as the Twisted, the Twisted Chef Leo, alright? So, what we're going to be doing is, okay, so I got flour. This is what I use, okay? So, I can just throw the bag out when I'm finished. Alright, so, we got us some nice, healthy size. Turkey chops. And they've been basting this flour overnight. So we're just gonna stick them in the flour. And the oil on that. Alright. Very nice size. Okay. And we'll dust off whatever the powder is left on there. Oh. Almost. One more. Right, so we just get sliding. Nice and easy. Easy peasy. We're going to stick that flour over there for the moment. Let me wash my hands. For the time being, um, because we're going to use this flour also later for gravy. Alright. So today we're going to be, let me turn that fire up just a tad. Okay, so we're going to be drinking maybe some, um, let's see, let's get us some rum and coke. All right, I'll take it Yeah, my dog thought she was coming in today. <laughs> All right, y'all know my glass. Oh wow, they're looking good. Let's get something out the freezer. Some ice out of there. Well, yeah, maybe we'll do half a glass today. I'm not a big drinker, so we'll do some half a glass. We're gonna be drinking Bacardi. Bacardi. All right. Just a little Bacardi. I'm not a big drinker, so I'll just do like two cut, uh, caps of this, and I'm good. I'm just gonna be drinking half today, half a glass. Today. All right. So that definitely should be enough. All right. Get out the way. A little Pepsi. So that's what we're going to be doing today, guys. That's all, that's all, that's all. Delicious. I do have some um, green beans that I had in the can. So um, I took them out the can. And I put them in some paper towel to try to absorb as much as the water as I can off of them. Okay. Because we're going to fry those up. All right. Now, 
while we're waiting for for the uh, turkey chops, we're gonna dice some onion. down the middle to fill the uh, onion quicker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to peel that first layer off. Okay, by the way, my pens I'm using today are the blue diamonds. Emerald cement, symmetric uh, nine stick. Those are the ones I'm using today. I'm sorry, I don't know if you guys seen that or not. Okay. Try that at home. Always draw your fingers in when you cut it, okay? Okay, let's try, check it out. Oh, look at that. Nice. So we're going to turn her. Nice. Put it down with the tag. Mmm. Turkey. <laughs> I'm really not. I don't like turkey too much, but I'll eat it, but I'm just not into it. Any kind of canola oil will do. I like canola oil. Okay, and we're also going to make some homemade gravy also, okay guys? Homemade gravy. I remember the first time, I mean, I literally cried calling my mother. I lived in New Jersey. My parents lived down south, or up south, and I called crying because I did not know how to make gravy. I cried, said, Mama, I know how make gravy. My gravy still turning white. And she just laughed and laughed and laughed and asked me. Are you letting the oil burn? I said, no. She said, that's why. Let your oil burn first, okay? That's how you get those extra robust taste and that color. I call my mind anything. I, I learned over the phone. A lot of stuff I did learn young, as a younger child, but a lot of the stuff, you know, that I want to do differently, I call my mom and ask her. And she'll tell me how to do it. And your food is only as good as it tastes as long as you're putting all that love in it, all right? I'm going to put some love into your food. Oh, we are still having some rice, some white rice, all right? Some boiled white rice. 
So we're going to try the stove one for that now. And we have my water in the pot already. You could go ahead and throw a little bit of salt in there to get, you know, salt the water up. Okay. Now, I don't know if it's a mint or what, but, you know, some people say you put salt in it, it makes the water boil quicker. To me, just the steam makes the water boil quicker, so I keep the lids on it. There's a reason why they buy, uh, make the lids for pans and pots. All right. I mean, I can do this quicker right here, but, you know, we're going to go too big, I want to make sure. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait for the holidays, guys. So, like I said, I had made my first video yesterday, and I put it on Facebook. So, if you guys want to follow me on Facebook, I'm at Cooking in Your Hood. All right? I'm the... Uh, Twisted Chef Ouya, all right? So if you want to know about that. And I also made turkey uh, chop. The dress yesterday, I made wop with waffles, but the twist was, excuse me, I put uh, sweet potato puff, you know, the mix in it, in the uh, waffles batter. So, yeah. So today's twist is fried green beans, green beans, and onions. So it's going to be so good, so good. So good. Now y'all know that doesn't take too too long to cook. Turkey doesn't take too long. Turkey doesn't take too long to cook it. Okay. Hope you guys see that texture. Let me bring you guys closer so you can see the texture. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Okay, guys. So that's what that's looking like so far. Looks good, smells good. You can start to see the nice drippings in here. Let me show you what I'm talking about, about drippings. Let me bring you closer. Now you see the brownness inside here, right here, in this area? That's dripping. So that's going to be good for our gravy that we're going to make later, okay? It's going to be so good. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go. I need more my light. This is why I need the light guy. <laughs> okay, let's get that out the way. There we go. Alright guys, I'm sorry about that light. Oh my god, look at that. Look how gorgeous this is. I want to flip one more time. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's gonna be a nice crunch on there. A nice crunch. And you get this crunch from like putting it in the flour overnight and putting it in the refrigerator. Get that nice thickness. Almost looks like KFC, but it ain't a Leo, Chef Twisted Leo, alright? Twist Chef Leo, alright? That's what you want, guys. You want that. You want that. Beautiful. Beautifulness on there. That golden, crispy beautifulness of my goodness. Okay. 
Okay, now our water is boiling. I have a big pan, I mean a big bag of uh, yeah, rice. They left rice in here. And I have the fast for seven years old. Thank you. Thank you only one. On the phone. Run the phone. Okay, so you're going to put the rice in the cup. You got a measuring cup. You have to pour this into my other container now. I'm just going to pour some in the cup. I'm just going to leave her on here. Don't lay on my cookie sheet. look delicious. Mm. I'm going to let them sit for a moment. Okay, now, now rice is what I need to be. I'm just going to turn the fire down, all the way down, ladies and gents. I have to turn my fire all the way down as far as I can't before it turns off. All right, that situation. All right, now we have this nice We have all this nice turkey dripping in here. See how brown that is in there? You want to use that, but you're not going to use all of that. That's too much oil in there, all right? So you're going to pour that oil out. Not all of it, but a lot of it, all right? And I'm going to show you that in a moment how we do that. Now, this is how I, I mix my, this is how I do my flour, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do my flour. Because everybody does their flour differently. I'm just pouring the rice back in here. Oops. And I'm not doing a good job at all. So. Oh my God, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. All right. So, what I do is take my flour that I had with my turkey chops in. The fire is, I mean, the uh, fire is still on, so, because I'm still cooking it, right? Keep your fire on. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, let me turn the hot water on. You turn your hot water on, this is to make easy gravy, okay? Easy gravy. Turn your hot water on, right? Take a couple forks full of some the flour that you use to coat your meat up with. Okay? 
how much you think you might need. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put that much in there. Now, oh, being sloppy, got too much going on. That's in the pan. I'm sitting here looking at the onion. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. No man, I gotta get it together first. So what I'm gonna do is take my flour and just mix water in it. But at the same time, while I'm putting water in it, stir it, stir it, okay? Stir, stir, stir. So you can't stir anymore. Make sure you're scratching the bottom and the sides, okay? It's gonna have flour. So make sure that you're doing all that. And I'll show you guys in a moment what I'm talking about. I'm to Alright, it should look like a soup. White soup, right? Now I know you're gonna say, girl, mm -mm. no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not crazy. I'm not gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is turn the fire up some more. And I'm gonna start getting that to really, really cook and brown down. But before, let me, check, let me oh, empty some out first, okay? Let's empty some out. <laughs> Try to keep your dripping in there. Okay, try to keep that dripping in there. And I'm gonna make enough gravy for us to have with our rice, okay? Sure you're cooking enough to have with your rice. Alright, so it should look like that. Alright? Nice. Now, you're gonna let that brown up. I'm gonna turn the overhead stove on, guys. I'm sorry if it's too loud, but I need to have that on. I don't want to smoke up the apartment. Do you see the steam? Do you see the steam? That's for the rice, baby. I want to start a show that I can go to people's houses and see what kind of food they're making, but in a different style of way and technique. You know, I want to do that type of show. So I'm trying to get my little channel going so, you know, we all know. I think that would be great to go into a home to America to see how their different style of cooking. I think that would be so wonderful. And I really, really am gonna work hard at trying to do that. Stickable, not stickable, <laughs> not stick. And um, you really beat these pans up pretty good. These pans are pretty good. You can really beat them up. Okay, so I did chop some onion, not only just for the uh, green pepper. I chopped some up for this this year. I mean for the uh, turkey chops, guys. Okay, so I'm just gonna put. Yeah, we y'all we y'all hear that? We y'all hear that? Mm hmm I heard it too. I heard it too. I heard it too. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright? That's what you want to cook all this, right? Mmm. That's not good. Oh my goodness, I wish you could smell the mmm, the robust smell in this. The onions just smell so good. You know, and it smells delicious. Look how dark that is now. See how dark that is? Hey. So you make, you know, you make your gravy as dark as you want to make it. You gotta get it dark like fried the oil. 
literally frying the oil as dark as you want. Okay? That's all you do. Okay, this is the easiest way to make gravy and save yourself some money. Even though this drives me nuts sometimes, but I do what I gotta do. Okay? Now those onions look like they're pretty good and ready to go. So now we're gonna just take the water and flour that we mix together. And we're gonna pour it in slowly. Alright? There you go. Slowly and stir. Slowly and stir. Slowly and stir. Oh my goodness, this thing is so good, guys. Slowly and stir. There we go. Okay. I think that should be enough of this. And then I'm going to get some water. I'm going to this so I can get some hot water. And we're going to thin it out. water and thin it out so you like it all right so right now we're just going to mix all this brown and white together so it can be brown all right see how turning brown on you there you go that's what you do look how thick that is nice and thick so you know this is going to stick to the ribs but we're going to add some water though okay we're not just going to leave this like that Add some water so you can start loosening it up if you like. Mm. Okay. So I'm just going to move that over to the side. That should be enough water to loosen up this gravy. I'm going to taste it. I'm going to taste it. You taste your gravy. Taste everything. Make sure it's seasoned to what you like. Especially gravy. Gravy has to be seasoned. You cannot just make gravy. You don't put no seasoning in gravy. I'm sorry. Gravy is one of those things that's so unforgiving. Like, you got to have some seasoning in your gravy. Okay. So now my gravy is almost sort of done. It's done, but I'm still doing what I'm doing too. I'm just going to lower this pan a little bit. So I'm just paying off of the green beans. All right, it's still a little thick for me. So I'm just going to add a little more water, and that should be fine. Okay. After this, I'm going to do a little taste test to see if I need to add any seasoning, like salt and pepper, right? Or add any more other type of seasonings. Always just add salt and pepper. Extra. Nothing. We got to I haven't even those other seasonings should be cooked when it's being cooked. Nice. 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 Okay. Onions. It smells so good. So good. So I'm gonna taste it. Need a little salt and pepper. Mm. But it's definitely that gravy taste. It definitely tastes the gravy. Okay. I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper. And turn this down also. We'll just turn it off. Because we're gonna add our meat to that. Add some pepper. Mix it in there because you want to make sure you still taste this gravy before you add your meat, okay? Mmm, look how beautiful brown this is. It's gorgeous. Let me, let me bring it up to the camera so you guys can see, okay? How beautiful brown that gravy is. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that, that gravy is. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Just beautiful, just beautiful. Okay. This is gorgeous. Mm. Let's taste test before we put our meat in there, okay? Mm. Let's add a little more salt, I guess. Pepper, yes, that's what. Mm. Mm -hmm. See, guys, 
It don't take long to cook turkey chops, right? We're gonna get our turkey chops. And these are the, the smothered turkey chops. Hmm. Y'all know what y'all missing. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Okay, then we're gonna flip them. Make sure each side gets that nice coat of gravy. Mm. Lick your fingers, wash your hands. <laughs> okay. Nice, beautiful, gorgeous. Mm. This is the way that you want. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let me bring you up to that camera. Look at that. Nice. Bring you up to that pot. That, mm. that rice back there. Mm. Now, guys, we are on to the green beans, all right? It's not going to take long to do this here, okay? My pan's good. Let me put this lid on top of the food. Okay, that's already done. The rice is getting done. Okay. Now, onion. Okay. Just going to add some onions in here. Just a little bit. Not too much, all right? Not too much right here. Okay. A little salt. A little pepper. And we already got oil in there, all right? Canola oil, all right? Scrapers, scrape up stuff with. I need one. I think I have one. I gotta look. Let me get those in the dollar tree. Okay. I'm turning fire up some, okay, guys? All these meals that I'm showing you, I'm going to try to do less than an hour, okay? So let be a less than an hour meals. Between 30 to 45 minutes type of meals. It smells so good, guys, and it looks delicious. It just, it's going to be so good. So good. Rice looks like it's doing this nice little thing, pumping up. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is, like I said, I've used canned greens. I mean, uh, canned uh, uh, green beans. I put them in a the towel. And look, all this is so much, it absorbs up a lot, right? If you put them in a towel, they will absorb up a lot of the uh, water. So I'm just gonna cook those like that. Okay. I'm um, cooking two, two, uh, there you go. You see the onions, they're browning up, as you can see, nice and good, right? Something quick and easy, you know what I mean? Just quick and easy. Do something different, give it a little taste. I mean, that's what it's all about, twisted cooking is all about. 
with a little twist, you know? Give it something different. Oh, look at that one little stock to in there. And you don't have to worry about, like, um, because these are canned greens, you don't have to cook them as long as, like, you have to do a frozen vegetable, okay? Or frozen, a fresh vegetable. Because it's going to be good. It's giving that nice, nice, nice shine to the green beans, the oil. Mmm, smells so delicious, guys. So delicious. So delicious. And we like onion, but come on. <laughs> so good. We put a little bit more onion because we know. And then we're about to green game. And I know. Cut them small so they'll cook quicker. Chop them small so they'll cook quicker. Okay? That's a good one. Alright, so we just gonna throw those in there. It's hard to feed my boys on anything, but it's not We get stuck on eating certain things and that's it. But guess what? I'm getting tired of cooking the same thing. So, we got to compromise here. You know? There you go. Okay, let's throw some more pepper on top of there. A little more salt. It's so good, guys. Look, look how beautiful this is already. You see the pepper sitting on top of there. It's stuck there, and the onion just stuck to caramelize. Oh my goodness. This is so good. Now, if you want to throw some little meat in there, you can, but we already got a meat. <laughs> I'm not going to throw meat in there. Okay, we're gonna let this sit for a minute. And our meal be done. Check the rice. Ooh, look at that. Already stuffed up. Mmm. And I tell you, nice and soft. See how this fluffed up? That's how you want your rice to fluff up. Ooh, look at that. Hmm. That's good. Look at that. You want that rice to fluff up? Just like that. Fluff up, baby. Fluff up. Just like that. So good. So good. Hmm. Mm How you want your rice? Mmm, look at that. That is delicious looking. Smells good. Mmm, 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 mm. Okay. Look at that, guys. It's almost done. It smells amazing. Alright. Now let's just get rid of this stuff. Y'all should smell that. That smells delicious. Delicious, guys. That smells so good. Excuse me. Had to walk away. Had to walk away, baby. You can't get the mm -mm. You can't get the sick now. But it smells so good. Look at that. Mm, it's amazing. That's hot. <laughs> 
Look at this. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Uh oh. Gorgeous. Now they are ready. Mm. All right. Oh, yes. I love this. I love to hear that food just talking to me. It's just talking to me. Saying, eat me. Eat me. And I shall. Mmm. Mmm. Done. Hot. But the wood. Get our plate. Oh, it's good. You have to rock, rinse the froth off, right? Let's get some. Oh, that's delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what? That's good. Delicious. Okay. Right, I'm making my boyfriend's plates. You see, a lot of foods, I'm being warmed. <laughs> That's gonna be so good. I was gonna say, babe, you have to yourself. Yes. So we have different things on that plate. Different things on the plate, okay? That's what we're all about. Different things on your plate to eat, okay? You don't have to eat the same vegetable. Mix it up with something. Or you don't have to eat the same uh, meat. Mix it up with something, you know what I mean? Always a good thing. Fluffy. This rice is beautiful. Makes me want to cry. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So fluffy. Look at that. Just, you see how it falls off the. Oh my goodness. He loves rice. Y'all see how it just fell off the spoon like that? That's what you want your rice to do, okay? Okay? Okay. Hopefully, we learned something. Take a little more of that gravy because he loves gravy. <laughs> we all do. Who doesn't love gravy? All right. And we're just going to pour that gravy right on top of that rice like that. Give him one more spoon. Oh, my goodness. All right, guys. And the plate has been plated. Delicious looking, isn't it? All right, guys. So thanks for tuning in to Cooking in Your Hood. Okay, so leave it in the comments. If you want me to come to your area and check you out and see what you got going on, let me know. Leave it in the comments, or you can DM me. All right, and so we'll go over everything then. So get back to you, Cooking in the Hood.